Oh man, that's too cold. Look, the, the dog water, cat water freezer thing is frozen. So the first thing I've got to do every morning is go straight to the I Am Chimani Chicks. Because they're the one coop that doesn't have a heated water, so I've got to get them some warm water. Dang, Silky A Guardy cracked. I'm really enjoying being inside the tractor. It's a lot warmer than out here. And these are our black copper morans in here. This is actually a splash moran. The splash and the blue we actually hatched out from some hatching eggs a year ago from some eggs we got in Texas. We had really bad hatch rate. I had a pretty bad incubator at the time. Just one of the coolest looking birds and lays a dark egg just like these other morans. I keep putting the fun scratch feed in all these tractors during the day that I got from Valley Feed and they love it. They eat it up so quickly, but now I'm just about out of it. So I need to go make another run for that. I didn't realize how much they'd like it over their regular feed just because of how, well, it's the original ingredients. It's really colorful and they're really, it gives them something to do during the day. It keeps them from getting bored. Bought this heated water bowl a while ago. It actually took about a month to get here because it came from China. I really like it, but water is pretty cold out here today, so I'm gonna go fill this up with some warm water. We actually get a pretty hard time from a lot of rabbit people. Uh, we do get a lot of emails about keeping them in these metal cages, but she's actually moved all of her straw everywhere throughout the cage. So there's nowhere where she's actually touching the metal, except for right in the back where she poops. And that goes right into the poop tray down below, and I can easily take it out to the compost pile. But they seem to be doing really well. It's cold in here for sure, but heated water. We've got a heater right up above them, but we are excited for spring to get them back outside in their rabbit tractor. <music> got a gross back end, we gotta clean them up. These guys do take baths and pools and different things when they get older. It'd be interesting to see what she thinks of some water here. Bud. Oh, stop. Not a fan of it yet. I dry you off. One of the things we like to do is to get our animals together. We want them to be comfortable with each other. We want them to grow up together and be familiar with each other. So we've got a special treat for you today. We're gonna see what they all think of our emu. All right, you gonna hold the camera? You gonna hold the camera? What are we doing here, Eli? Uh, getting the bunny rabbit. That's right, which one are we getting? Uh, pickles. Pickles, your boy rabbit. And one of the things we haven't done with this guy in a while is combed his hair out. He's a double mane lion head, so he's got a lot of extra hair here that we need to comb out. Like me! I got a lot of hair! You got a lot of hair, don't you, buddy? Yeah. It's gonna take pickles inside. This is one of our two lion head rabbits. This is our buck. His name is Pickles. In the summer months and the warm months, we keep them out in a rabbit tractor. We have them separated in two sides of the rabbit tractor. In the winter, we have them in a top and bottom cage out in the shed. We just had them for about six to eight months, and we have not bred them. They were only three, four months old when we got them. And so this spring, we hope to breed them together and have some lion head babies. Is this your rabbit? Yes. What's her name? Peanut. What are we getting next, bud? Baby chicks. All right, let's get the I am Chimani's. Can you get one, buddy? I think they get a corner. Gotta be quick. Aw, Eli, let them all run by you. you. Used to be an awesome chicken wrangler. What happened? They're right here. Come on, get one. Eli! 
Eli! <laughs> Alright, now he's serious. Now he's serious. Now he's not messing around. You finally get one? Yeah. Let's go inside with him. Alright. Well, this is going to be a rooster. So How can you tell? If you flip them upside down, have their feathers come up. And if it's a V, really spiky feathers, means it's a male. If it's more rounded, it's a female. So um, what else on him? This comb, different than from the females, you could tell in the... Yeah, that's not the same size comb for every chicken breed, but if you compare the males to the females, you'll definitely see a difference from this one to the girls, where the girls have almost nothing. You want to get the cat, Uriah? You want to get Eminem? Yes, I am! Alright, so we want to add a cat to the mix, and our boys are in the chicken coop, and I think it might be a little too wild for all these birds. So these cats, these two girl cats that we have, Eminem and Callie, they stay here in our mudroom most of the winter. They're very well fed. So we're going to try to bring Eminem in here. Hey, pick her up. Can you pick her up? Too big. Yeah, all right, come on, girl. All right, fat. open the door. Too fat. Yeah. She's a little Eminem chubby. This is Eminem. This is our one of our two female cats. Currently lives in our mudroom for the winter, but she's an outdoor cat. Came from another farm. We've had her for a couple years, and she's given us one batch of kittens before she was fixed. I feel like I have fur all over my face. <laughs> You're just a mom to all the animals right now. Yes. All right, and then tell them about the emu. Okay, this is our baby emu. She is 11 days old, and she has been living in the house. She has not seen any other animal at all. So we thought we'd bring some in and introduce them to her since she is going to be eventually living outside. She's going to be a big bird. So you want to tell them what name everybody picked? Okay, we did a poll and everybody loved Bamboo. So we're going to name her Bamboo. With about 50% of the vote, you guys picked Bamboo over Mushu and Zazu. We had some really good write-in names like Lulu, because you could do Lou for a boy or Lulu for a girl. That would have been really fun. But we have two other emu eggs in the incubator right now that are just about a week along the 55-day process. So we will definitely have one or two more emus to name, hopefully. Should we take an I Am Chimani chick over here? Yeah. Let's see what everybody thinks. He's trying to go to sleep. He likes to snuggle. He's trying to find a good, comfortable spot. Smell each other. Terrible. I don't like face to face though. the back of the cat, I guess. <laughs> nice and warm up there. Think we could add a peacock to this mix? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not try. Okay, here is Blue, our peacock, who's now laid a big dump on the floor. In your leg. <laughs> oh, it stinks. Yeah, it does. Oh man. Oh, let me clean that up. And you see our emu that's about 11 days old, right next to our five month old peacock. Someday the emu will be towering over everybody, but for right now, he's the smallest animal in the room. What do you think, worthwhile experiment? <laughs> <laughs> a little stressful, but yeah. We only had bamboo trying to bite on everybody. On everybody's feet. Eyes. The peacock pooping everywhere. Oh. Probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but that was a fun little experiment. So hopefully we'll get to keep spending time with the other animals, bringing them around bamboo so she can get comfortable with them. So we need to go give Anna a call. She was the winner of our 100,000 subscriber giveaway. And that was part of the prize was to get to be in one of our videos. So let's go give her a call. Hi. Hello. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, and you're Anna, right? Yes, I am. And you're in Georgia? I am, yes. So what's your interest in like the homesteading or chicken type stuff? What's your interest in that? Yeah, um, I definitely, growing up, I had chickens and my mom always had like a huge garden and everything and that's something that I really see for myself, especially in the next five years or so. Um, 
to get a place of my own and to have uh, chickens. I'd love some goats. I'd love to. I had horses growing up, so I'd love nice. to kind of get back to that, get back to the land, get back to really just knowing where everything comes from and providing for myself. So yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. How did you find our channel? Um, I think it was the Peacocks video was the first thing yeah. that popped up on the recommended feed. I think yeah. that's how a lot of people find you guys. But sure. Yeah, so I got into that and then just started following from there. That's awesome. Well, we see you wearing the shirt right now. That's that's awesome. How are you liking it? Is it fit all right? I love it. <laughs> it's great. Good deal. Uh, so that's one of the things that Anna got from the giveaway was the shirt. Also, you were the winner of the Brinzy Incubator. I got that right here. That's and awesome. And that's going to be super helpful for when I do have my chickens and start yep. doing that. So this is, uh, yeah, it's amazing. That's awesome. I want to say that I definitely appreciate you guys and yeah. that you, uh, you're great about showing all sides of having animals, having a farm, having, you know, it's the ups and the downs. It's not all egg hatches. Sometimes you lose animals and um, that all of that that goes into it. And I really like just kind of the honesty. You told it. me you had a soap business. Yes. Tell us about that. Sure. So it's something that I've been doing for a little over a year now. Um, it's something I wanted to start up to see just kind of if I could. <laughs> and. Um, my first batch of soap was definitely not the best, but it's just something that's grown and I really like knowing uh, what I'm putting into it, the ingredients, everything is all organic, I'm using essential oil, it's just me making small batches out of my kitchen and um, I'll go out and do different festivals and everything. And do you have any? Do you have any samples with you? To I do, I do, yeah, so I've got, um, actually just did, this one is like a rose. So for like Valentine's, it's got little roses oh, on top there and everything. Um, I've got, this one's one of my favorites. It's like a pure honey soap. And um, so it's really good for skin and all. And then I do like to have a little fun with them. This is a cupcake. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. So I that, but have you ever had anybody accidentally eat the cupcake soap? I've had to keep some kids away from that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so where do people find your soap at? I'm on Etsy. It's uh, Anna's Organic Soap. Okay. Um, and you can find me on Etsy. You can find me on Facebook, also on Instagram. Um, so all the social media following. And I'll be sure to link that down in the description in case anybody wants to check that out. Well, thank you so much for hanging out and talking with us, and congratulations on winning the giveaway. You got a lot of jealous people that want that incubator, so <laughs> you've got to make some good use of it. Yes, definitely. Will. Let us know what you hatch out on your first hatching. I will, for sure. <laughs> Good night. All right, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us today. Hope you had a fun time. We had a lot of fun. We will see you guys next time. See you next time.